Yeah, let's uh, have a broader discussion now on the implications of rising power prices, particularly when it comes to business. Joining me is Andrew McKellar, he's Chief Executive of the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Andrew, thanks for your time. What do you make of this warning from Jeff Dimery, the Chief Executive of Alinta, potential power price rises of 35% next year he's talking about? Well, nice to be with you, uh, Kieran. Look, uh, obviously, this is a big issue uh, for business. Uh, I certainly hope that the predictions that he's making there are not right. Uh, hopefully, the outlook is better than that. But uh, it's very clear that there are major risks out there uh, for business, for households, if we do see uh, energy prices uh, rising in the next, uh, next 12 months. We've got uh, very clear issues in terms of supply. We've seen some of those risks uh, earlier this year. Uh, so, you know, clearly there's a lot of work to be done to make sure that we are able to secure supply uh, in the period ahead, but also to ensure affordability uh, for business. So that is a, that's a real challenge. What sort of impact would a 35% increase in power prices have on on your members? Oh, look, it would put a lot of pressure on, and uh, we've just seen uh, the, the chair of the ACCC highlighting the fact that already since April, small business uh, on average has faced uh, energy uh, cost increases of about uh, $1,500 uh, uh, through that period uh, alone. So that's a significant impact on the profitability of small business. If you're looking at other sectors of the economy, manufacturing, uh, it's going to impact their, their profitability very significantly. So it, it would be a real risk. It would mean that we would face, uh, I think, some very significant economic headwinds ahead if we were if we were looking at those sorts of uh, cost increases. We're two weeks away from the Treasurer's first budget. He's off to Washington this afternoon for talks with Jerome Powell, the chair of the Federal Reserve and, and others. He's got... He's, he says, well, there's a lot going for Australia. He feels that there's a lot we should be optimistic about, it's, there's a caveat, and that is that the expectation of a global downturn is very real. What do you make of his language right now? Look, I think he's, uh, I think he's um, making some very fair points. I mean, clearly, the international economic situation has deteriorated uh, in recent times. Uh, there are risks there. I think he's highlighting some of those risks, uh, but equally... He's pointing out uh, that uh, in the context of the Australian economy, we still have many strengths. We, we still, I think, have a pretty robust uh, situation. We've been able to uh, come through um, many of the crises that the world economy has faced in recent years more strongly than a lot of others. Uh, we should be able to do that again. Uh, but I think he is uh, sounding, you know, a few alarm bells that we need to you know, take stock of what's happening in the international economy and, and there are some, you know, real risks out there as well. Those strengths that we have, though, as you rightly point out, has seen Australia get through the last two downturns better than most, you'd have to say, when they've been... This would be, if it does eventuate, we talk about a, the potential for a global recession, the third significant downturn in under a decade and a half. Mm. Well, we've been buoyed up at the moment, of course, uh, by pretty strong terms of trade, pretty strong commodity prices. Uh, whether that will uh, maintain us uh, to that extent uh, remains to be seen. Uh, but obviously, look, uh, I think he's uh, sending some pretty realistic signals. There's a big challenge in terms of the budget position, uh, the way you've got to balance uh, fiscal policy and monetary policy to manage those risks uh, in the months ahead. So uh, business will be looking very closely at what we see in the budget in a couple of weeks. So in, in a sort of constrained environment where there are these inflationary pressures. What do you want to see from Treasurer Chalmers in that first budget? Well, I think we've got to see some signals that uh, we're taking the pressure off fiscal policy, uh, that we are getting the budget back into uh, a much better situation, closer to balance. Obviously, there are some structural dimensions to what's there at the moment, so the government will have some big uh, challenges uh, there. But we've got to take some of that heat off uh, monetary policy. We, we can't see a situation going forward where the Reserve Bank is continuing to tighten interest rates more and more in an effort to clamp down on inflation to take heat out of the economy. I think that would be disastrous. That could lead to the recession that we don't have to have, so we really do need to see... I think, a, a much clearer picture of what the fiscal strategy is going to be over the next 12 months, over the next three years, how that will bring us back closer to balance within that time frame, a more sustainable position. And I think uh, that's what business will be looking for. And when you talk about that Reserve Bank policy right now, obviously their last rate rise, they did 
rein in the pace of the increases, but it's having an impact on uh, many mortgage holders. What's the impact right now on your members? What, what's the feedback you're receiving? Well, already those uh, interest rate increases, uh, you know, have uh, had, had a bit of a sting. Uh, for sure. So they are you know, impacting uh, on the, the way in which the costs that, that the borrowing costs that many businesses face. And let's not forget, uh, many, many small businesses uh, are underwritten uh, by the, the, you know, the household mortgage. Uh, so, um, you know, as we see those interest rates going up, uh, it's going to impact, uh, you know, the small business holders in particular. How would you characterise the mood among businesses right now, the business community? with those uncertainties around around rates, around the international economy and so on? Well, look, I think our most recent survey that we released uh, a week or so ago um, painted, you know, a, still a pretty robust picture. You know, we had a pretty strong uh, quarter uh, most recently, but uh, we can't expect that to be um, sustained, that things will come back a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of pressure still in terms of the supply side, so labour still very difficult to get. Materials, supply chain disruption, still a big issue. Um, so we've got to manage those uh, points. Uh, we hope that certainly we can avoid a downturn. Uh, and I think from that point of view, you know, cautious optimism, but equally we have to be realistic about some of those uh, risks in the outlook. Andrew McKellar, Chief Executive of the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Thank you, as always. Great. Thanks, Kieran.